Hello, passionate genealogists and family historians. I'm Coach Carol, and today I'm excited to unveil another groundbreaking GPT, a tool that is going to help you transform your genealogy research. It's called our Ancestry AI Research Records Assistant. It's a GPT, a generative pre-trained transformer that I've created specifically to help with unraveling some of the details of the records I've collected from my ancestors. Here's what it looks like. This GPT is number two in the 10 that I've created for my genealogy journey this year. And this research guide really does provide time period specific historical context in chronological order with structured headings for your genealogy research. It, this guide is really a companion in your quest to illuminate the backdrop against which your ancestors lived, loved and laid their legacies. There are a few questions here that you could simply click on that will give you an instant response. Or of course, you can put in your extended prompt down here. We'll do that in a moment. Remembering that each time I create a GPT, I can go back and edit it. And I can copy the link so that I can provide it for you to try out for yourself. You will need to have ChatGPT4. So with the AI Records Assistant, you'll have at your fingertips an AI-powered partner that simplifies the search for the records, the deciphering of those records, and even other avenues for further research. I'm going to demonstrate for you today one way in which I've been using this AI research guide to help me with my documentation. I'll show you first where I'm actually working. And that is with the documents regarding the World War I experiences of an ancestor of mine. And you can see a record several pieces of the record that I've researched from Find My Past. Now, this might be uh, resonating for you. You might have similar records that you found for your ancestors. And quite often you'll see relevant dates. And if it's clear, it will tell you a story about the experiences of this soldier. In this case, Ernest Alexander, my great uncle, suffered from gunshot wounds. And these documents actually describe what happened to him. So coming back to my GPT, let's see how it can help me. What I did over here was create a prompt to analyze these records. So I'm clicking back into this chat and it will show up in a moment. Now that the internet has caught up, you'll see these documents once again that I've uploaded to the Ancestry AI Research Guide. And you can upload as many as you've got and it will be able to analyze them. My prompt was to tell it that I'm researching these World War I records for Ernest Alexander, who is a private in the Rifle Brigade of the Devonshire Regiment. I've uploaded some of the war record, records for his experiences, and I want you to please analyze to give a narrative of what happened to him. So that's what it did. You can see that below. It looks at all the documents, and that might take a few seconds. That's all it was in this case. And it gives me, in order of importance, the information in narrative format. 
when he enlisted and what part of the regiment he was in. And then straight on to the wounding in action, which I was most interested in. And it verifies that he was wounded in Boulogne, France, March 19, 1916. And even summarises some of the uh, shorthand, if you like, that appears on the records, GSW right arm, which stands for gunshot wound. And then tells me that he was hospitalised at number four, North General Hospital in Lincoln, England. Then it goes on to look at the medical assessments and pension. And a little bit about his conduct, because there was one of those records that mentioned him as being absent from a roll call and receiving a sentence of 14 days confined to barracks. And his post-war experience, that he was uh, demobilised on February 16, 1917. Then personal details, it says during or pre-war, he worked as a cook, which is noted on his statement as to the disability form, something that I didn't really know about him prior to doing this research. And then gives me a little overall narrative to begin my story about Ernest Alexander Ellery. So that was quite significant for me because it gave me a really good start to understanding the records and how I might write up his story. It concludes by saying the nature of his injury its long-term impact in his life after the war would have been significant, but those details are not included in the military records presented. Now that made me think about, well, what if I give it, that is my research guide, more information about his life after the war? So I did that. I uploaded another set of documents that I'd gleaned from my research about his properties, about a newspaper article and other pieces. And my prompt this time was, here are further documents relating to his life. Please provide a narrative that provides a snapshot in time of his life after World War I. And that's what it did. In heading style with dot points about his post-war civilian life, his land and property, a public health incident, which was the newspaper article, community and family connections. It tells me about his address, which showed up on the 1939 register and the fact that he was involved in the garment industry, which was a passion of many of his siblings in my Allery family. And then gives another snapshot narrative that I can include in my storytelling. So this has been a revelation. I can really now get started on telling the story of Ernest Alexander and how he trans transitioned back into civilian life. So that's my next step. But if you are looking for more details about how you can use this GPT, I'll put the link to the GPT at the end of this, this video. So then you can imagine the thrill of discovering details, unlocking those stories about your ancestors. So if you're ready to revolutionize the way you explore your family history records, dig deeper into the use of GPTs inside ChatGPT. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts and discoveries in the comments below. And together, we can unlock more of your stories of your ancestors using this AI technology. Thank you for watching and happy ancestor hunting.